Good day. My name is David Seaborn Davis, otherwise known as Di. By way of introduction, I am the former operational commander in charge of the world famous Scotland Yard's Royalty Protection Department. I had the honour and indeed privilege of looking after Her Majesty's Queen Protection and indeed the whole of the British Royal Family. Today, I will try and show what I and my presentations are about. Firstly, we'll be looking at the House of Windsor. Who are they? Would you know there are over a hundred people in the line of succession? I didn't know that. I wouldn't know who half of them were. I suspect you wouldn't either. So we'll be looking at the family, the ones that we did protect, and indeed some of the ones who are now passed away, like the Queen Mother, Princess Diana, and Margaret. So, we'll be looking at them, and then we'll be looking at the fascinating uh, history of some of the places that they did live in, and indeed live in now. Buckingham Palace, Windsor Castle, Sandringham, a range of different places, and you can imagine how difficult it is to have a standard operating procedure of how to protect. But the most fascinating parts are in what I call series three and four, and possibly five, which is the history of attacks and incidents on the royal family going back to George III. From George III all the way up to Prince Charles and Camilla being attacked two years ago in Piccadilly, a dreadful occasion, I'll be looking at the depth and the seriousness of some of the attacks and I'll be asking controversially, have we learnt the lessons of history? And more importantly, are we translating those lessons into royalty protection today? Now, obviously, there are some aspects that I can't discuss and I won't discuss. But in a broad series of lectures uh, with PowerPoint presentations, I hope that I can enthuse in you the same enthusiasm that I've had now, being a privileged member of the Cruise Lecturers Association, it has made me a historian, where previously I probably wasn't. But it is a fascinating tale of intrigue. It looks at how a boy as young as 14 in the Victorian, early Victorian days, could get into Buckingham Palace at ease. 140 years on later, Michael Fagan did exactly the same aspect. How was Mount Batten blown up? How could it possibly have happened? How was Prince Charles nearly assassinated by the Welsh freedom fighters. These and many, many other incidents will be looked at, some in more depth than others, and I hope will provide you an insight into why Scotland Yard has to have as many people as they do currently protecting the British royal family. In the last lecture, we'll be looking at the threat today. Who poses that threat? Is it the terrorist? Is it Al-Qaeda? Is it the face fixated person? Is it the media? Or is it us, the public? These and many other questions hopefully will be answered and discussed. And I do hope the audience will join with me in discussing these incidents and events. I look forward to talking to various audiences on various ships around the world. Thank you.